Hey, Berserkules, that's pretty good. And this is how you can become like Berserkules. Before we start, this only won't be just about gear, but also how to play as one as well. The main play style of playing a pure Berserker is running in and just slapping everything with range, as you can hit up to 5 targets at once and from many blocks away, which obviously makes it really good for clearing as you can see. Oh my god! Wow! Items to note that you do want are tier 5 beacon, when you place obviously the crystal in it, get 6 attack speed or 5 with a cheap crystal, but you do have to note that this is a bit expensive, you're better off upgrading your talismans beforehand. And of course, do not forget to refresh your cake souls. From floor 7 and onwards, please use the dungeon 7 potion as it gives lots of good buffs. Combined with the jellyfish as it increases the effectiveness of dungeon potions by up to 50%. It is quite an expensive pet, so it's only viable for endgame. For the items here and every item past floor 3, please make sure they're all 5 start now. Here we go! Now, I recommend the Bow Necklace, Shadow Assassin Cloak, Adaptive Bolt, and Soul Weaver Gloves. Now, these items you can frag, so make sure you frag to upgrade them. Quantum 5 is all I point the Bow Necklace because it's quite cheap and easy to get. Now, Blooming is what I run on all of the equipment because it just gives a lot of speed. I choose these equipments because they're dungeonized, of course, so they're scales. Strengthen does give uh, defense and strength, hence why it could be better for damage and tanking. If you have already a lot of speed for magical power it's not necessary till about floor five it's a minimum 400 magical power currently i do master mode four and i have 711 which is okay because magical power doesn't really affect berserker that much i recommend the itchy power of we don't need ferocity from scorching at all and as for the tunings put all mine to speed but you need a bit of balance of attack speed i currently have 64 percent attack speed i typically recommend people have about 82 attack speed as that is the max of berserker as micro ticks cannot register more then dump all of the rest into speed boring as far as enrichments go i would put speed onto all of the accessories that are dungeonized however ones that are not dungeonized should just be attack speed as attack speed does not scale it is important to note that you can increase your class experience gain from the dragon essence shop by upgrading it however it's a bit expensive so do it when you can now the abilities are throwing axe which deals the same damage as your last highest hit in the last minute so obviously cooldown is 10 seconds which is really good it works with soul eater as well so you can just get death my soul and stack it with that now ragnarok uh, first half is useless but 1.5x melee damage and three summon zombies which are good for distracting mini bosses now Bloodlust again increases your damage after killing a monster and expires up to 5 seconds. Now you can reduce the cooldown of your throwing axe with this and it heals you for 3% of your missing health for every melee hit which is incredible for surviving. Now increase your damage every time you hit an enemy and it stacks so much to a point where you're shredding bosses and mini bosses. 8% of your strength as defense again basically a mini baby at A. And then final perk just lets you hit 5 enemies at once and also increases your string range which scales with your berserker class level. Now as for your weapon, you should be using a super cleaver as soon as you get your first completion. Don't worry about gear before the dungeons, after you get your first completion get the super cleaver. And I will give you all of the things you need on screen right about now. Which is all of the enchants, so please pause it and read through them. Now I recommend you to put the withered reforge on it if you can afford it. If you can't, don't worry, just take any reforge to later on. You probably need someone else to pay on for you as well if you don't have mining 30 to take that into consideration. I will pay on for you because I have like mining 50 something to so pop into my streams. Now for the start, don't worry too much what you have, but I would just suggest rotten armor. You don't even need to put anything except grow 5 and protection 5 on it. Floor 3 now, I recommend you to upgrade to the Hyper Cleaver. Now you have to trade in your Super Cleaver, but it keeps all of its stats, which is quite good. Also recommend for you to grab maybe some adaptive leggings, as they're quite decent. And, and I will also recommend you to get a metal chest plate as well, as it will just make you a tad bit more tankier, which is what you need at this point. Now in the game, there's these items called Golden Heads, that double your stats on your respective floor. Now, maybe at Floor 3 or 4, depending if you have enough money to start getting them and I would put Ancient on these heads because they are brilliant honestly if you cannot put Ancient Reforge 
the heads from the pre-cuts again then get someone else to do it or i can do it for you on my stream now at floor 4 completion i do recommend spirit boots as they are just great for the speed honestly man when you fly them 35 speed is higher than maxwell's base speed now at floor 5 you do want to opt in for some shadow assassin leggings as they are obviously really good and you want to make sure you have fragged them now you can get a shadow assassin chest plate but if it's a bit out of your budget now I do recommend you go for something like Zombie Knight Chest Plate which is a cheap alternative and is quite good. Now on screen I should have all of the upgrades that you should have on your gear at the moment at this stage of the game. Uh, obviously don't go too much out with all your money as you're going to save it for later on as well. But if you need to, now for pets there is a couple options. I recommend at this point in the game you should probably get a baby yeti so you can start tanking as well. Which is really useful for the 75% of your strength as defense. Black Cat, for example, takes your speed over to 500 and gives you 125 as well, which is incredible for clearing. Lion does buff your base damage and base strength and as well increases first strike's power by a lot, as well as 150% damage against mobs that have already attacked you, which is also incredible. Now, for nearer to the end game, I just recommend you grab Golden Dragon if you are M6 or potentially M5. It's not necessary before. I've been doing M4 with a Baby Yeti at Cat 38 and I'm just fine. Now, as we move on to F6, you can upgrade to the Giant Cleaver, which would be brilliant for the Terracotta phase, as again, it has a massive AoV and you will hit basically each mob five times. However, there is one per item, and that's the Bone Reaver because of its right click ability. Slash in a huge arc, dealing 125% melee damage to all enemies hit, and also plus 1% damage to undead monsters for every 1% of your missing health, which is just incredible. However, there is one better weapon. Now you can opt in for the Feldorn Reaper, which is just beautiful. Requires a floor 6 completion, make sure you frag it. Please try to afford this as soon as possible as it has a plus 1.5 swing range which allows it to hit mobs from further away which just makes it better. And it changes the second ability to do more damage for the missing health on your target instead which is just really fun in general. You could technically use this up to M4 if you wanted to though I do recommend an upgrade but it's still very viable even later on in master mode. Now if you're one of those weird people who has tons of money you can get a giant sword though it is a bit expensive. But you know, if you really want the best of the best, Giant Sword is probably your best bet with the gemstone slots unlocked as well. Now at this point, I recommend you at F7 to upgrade to Necron Armor. Now, Necron's chestplate and Necron's leggings specifically. For the boots, you want Maxwell's boots as they give speed. I'll list all the upgrades on screen right about now. And again, for the Golden Helmet, I'll list the upgrades as well. Obviously, Golden Necron Head is a must-have. If you do not have it, most people are probably going to kick you from the party, so please do have one. Now, I do recommend you buy or get upgraded because people tend to set it for a lot cheaper. Especially here, gemstone slots cost a lot of money to unlock. Uh, they cost about 20 mil for both. And if I just check AH, for example, over here, Legion 3 is just about 10 mil. Gemstone slots about 20, added to 20 mil. Add 5 stars, etc. It just becomes very worth it, especially with the recombobulator. So at this point, you've completed the basic dungeon floors. Now we're moving into master mode. There's not too many upgrades, however, you do want to make sure that everything you have has fewing potato books on it and gemstone slots unlocked, especially at M3 and onwards, as that's when it gets harder than F7. Now, again, at M3, you do want to have a diamond head, as it gives a decent amount of buffs compared to a golden head, which is just beautiful to have, honestly. Now, I did want to stress how certain things are really important on items. So, now on my Claymore, I have Soul Eater 5, which is just beautiful for Master Mode, again, as I said before. Um, you need this, otherwise you're going to struggle with clearing, basically. If you have a, a Golden Dragon, then you can use Chimera. Uh, but Chimera is probably out of your budget, and at that point, you'll probably bug off getting a Terminator. However, if you want to have fun, you know, put a Chimera on your Claymore. Who am I to say? Forming Chimera, the flying mythical beast! Claymore does require M7 completion. I do have videos on my channel how to solo M4, 5 and 6. But only at car 36 can you really unlock the Claymore. And that's only when it's worth it. So we get carry from M7. They cost a like, couple million coins which isn't too bad for a weapon that's 190 million coins. This is the best weapon you're going to get. I'll take a look at my enchantments of course and copy them if you are M4. Uh, you can tier them up of course if you go to the higher floors. 
but it's honestly not that necessary. I can do M5 with this as well, though I obviously choose not to. And the plus two swing range is phenomenal. You can hit mobs from ridiculously far away. Now, I did want to demonstrate how I play M4. Now, this is the only unique flaw to Berserkers, as each class has a role in here. With the keys they got and we'll see how fast i can blood rush so long as i don't get distracted now as you can see there some mobs are just spinning in circles that's good to soul weaver glove it's really good for mini bosses if you are to also check my bottom right i do have 7.5k defense on one start which can, it's just so nice to have you never die because you just out heal with siphon 4. i'm soon probably going to upgrade to siphon 5. i do do berserker gameplay on streams every single day at 6 p.m. GMT, so you know, subscribe, subscribe definitely. Now, I do have obviously a, quite a bad blood rush because of the types of room. If it was more mini boss based rooms, it probably would be a lot faster. But nonetheless, as you can see, it just really handles well. And here, you want to gyro into the middle. Very nice, very nice. And one more room. And blood is open at sub 120, which is okay. Obviously, you could, if I had better RNG, I probably could have got like sub 40 seconds. So starting with obviously the worst, which is Scoff. I spray him. As you can see, he was running in circles at the start, because of Soul Reaver Club. And he just dies fast. Everything dies fast. The multiple hit as well. Oh, damage. That was because of Soul Reaver mainly do. Still very nice. I'll demonstrate the throwing axe as well. Again, 200k. My usual hits 200k for these guys that have a ton of defense. Now, as we head into the uh, boss room, I will show you what you're meant to do as a Berserker in M4 as well. As again, it's the only floor that Berserkers play differently. So you want to place the decoy while well, the healer wants to, if there's a healer. Now, if Dawn's going to run around and stuff, the healer's going to be stunning him as follows. Obviously, take notes, healer classes. First, discombobulate. Dazed, discombobulate. Distract target because this is important for you and now you're going to see bat spawn now the bats are going to attract on the decoy so and your bats point is to just what is my purpose kill the bats only and so all you have to do kill bats if you have oh a skilled berserker yeah. then you could just do both stunning thorn and killing the bats if the decoy is forward enough like so what well, i missed <laughs> not really skilled i guess and you just want the berserker to focus on this nothing else now i will jump down and show you some gameplay Especially against the chickens actually, because this will be good to prove how good this is. If you just aim slightly up, you can hit everything. I see hitting everything, not dying at all. So that is really good. On ultimate, it's just really powerful. Again, bring out except four enemies for 17 million damage. As you can see, my HP does drop a bit because this are the sheep as well. And the spirit bird has dropped because fire aspect has managed to kill it off, which is why it's insane. Obviously, if you enjoyed this video guide. Uh, drop a subscription and uh, like the video please share it as well i'm trying to hit 30k by this year i've been trying for four years uh obviously this is just a nonsense part where i talk about myself but i wish this game was played slightly differently the way i play it we just play more for fun and you don't grind out coins to buy the best weapons there's so much more to it i get people say play different games but if i'm enjoying it can i really be playing a different game or should i, should I just be playing this game I don't know. Anywho, peace. Like the comments in case I missed anything.